what's up welcome to another video from Ling Ling today the location is the beautiful countryside of Canada and today I have the pleasure of being together with Evelyn hello who, everyone so nice to see you guys again yes who is a local of uh, lo a local in Montreal I am I am from yes. Montreal and right yes. now we are up north in the Lanazar area so Ling Ling could see what the country looks like in Canada and we just met a Chinese person yes. which was so <laughs> freaking random we walked into a convenience store for a drink and then the woman there was from Dandong in Dongbei in northeastern China oh my god that was so crazy we just before we walked in we just mentioned mm -hmm. or talked about the fact that they're like it would be very difficult for Chinese to adapt to this kind of society because it's so small and like everyone knows each other everyone speaks French blah, blah, blah. And then we walk in, and there we go. That's and the example. We could actually ask her how easy it was to adapt. Yeah, she spoke perfect French yes. and Chinese, of course. And in today's video, we are going to talk about first impressions of China. Oh. By the way, we hope you like the back here. Beautiful Isn't that beautiful? Setting. Nice, just little river right off the street. So beautiful. We're standing just at the street. So we're going to talk about the first impression of China, Evelyn's first impression of China. Yes. Yes. So when did you go to China first? I went to China in uh, February 2017. Yes. I was there uh, the 8th of February to the 14th. So I was there for the second week of the New Year's and the Spring Festival. Yes. And yeah. that is also when we met the first time she contacted me before she came to Beijing. Mm -hmm. We met up, we hooked it off yes, right away. Yes, we did. We got along and we kept <laughs> picking the same things from sushi to things to say. Yeah, <laughs> and now we're here because when Ling Ling says, I will come and visit you, she will come and visit you. So remember this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I would say no, she's a terrible guest. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. hey <laughs> no, 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 we are having a great time. <laughs> we're having a lot of fun here in the Canadian countryside. <laughs> Anyways, the first impression of China, what did you think when you arrived there? Did you want my first impression when I got there at the airport? Yeah, let's do that first and okay. then we'll move on to like a few other things you thought about when you okay. were during that time you were there. My first impression was really interesting because my flight was delayed eight hours in oh, Canada. So when I got to Beijing, it was about one o'clock in the morning and the subway was no longer working. Oh, so. I knew how much a taxi should cost me so that was fine but of course he spoke zero English I didn't know if I could trust him I didn't know if he really knew where I wanted him to go so it was a little hectic and you know that's after like 24 hours of flying and everything I was a little happy. stressed out no so anyways we started driving and he did drive right in front of Mao's portrait in Tiananmen Square so I thought that was really cool <laughs> and then I knew we were in the area I had seen the streets and the maps a little bit so I, I told him to turn down another street because I knew it was closer and then he turned into a really small hutong and I knew it wasn't my hutong anyways it was a question of the payment we had agreed upon a certain price and then he wanted a little more for something and but he still dropped me off at the wrong place it's 1 30 in the morning this little guy in a moped came by and he, <laughs> the taxi driver asked the guy if he knew where, where I was supposed to go so he kind of got angry went <sighs> <laughs> walked off it's 1 30 in the morning left me alone with this guy on the moped who didn't speak English either and said follow follow <laughs> into a, a hutong alley that was like this wide literally <laughs> and I'm like I really hope this is a trustworthy person and it turns yeah. out that my hostel was one block away Yay. and then I was like oh I made it <laughs> so that was ending. my first impression <laughs> Happy ending. There we go. Yes. How long did you stay in, in Beijing? I was there six days in total. Six days in total, mm -hmm. yeah. So it was quite rushy rush. So it was. A few first impressions during the time you were there. Oh, uh, well, right away the next morning, I met a friend, a Chinese friend ahead of time. So I spent mm. my first few days with local Chinese people I had met online. And it oh, was. You should mention hello to Oh, yeah. I was very <laughs> lucky. I took some time before my trip and met some local Chinese people on the app Hello Talk. This is like a language exchange app. So I already planned to meet four local Chinese people on top of Ling Ling. One of my Chinese friends met me first thing in the morning and I spent about eight hours with him and he was 
absolutely wonderful. He was so generous, <laughs> so kind, paid everything for me. He even brought me a present mm. and the eight hours flew by and we are still in touch. It was absolutely wonderful to be with a Chinese person right off the bat. I felt right away more comfortable, like I had more of a local experience. Mm. So it was a beautiful first impression. <laughs> I did realize after a couple of hours of walking around how grateful I was because I was really overwhelmed, not in a negative way. And I guess you could call it culture shock, but it was just so many new things just completely different than where I come <laughs> from. There's a little bit of bugs around. Ah! And it was just, it was too much for my brain to process. So my mm. first three days I was happily overwhelmed, but mm. a little overwhelmed. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit yeah. more about Culture Shock actually in the live stream tomorrow. So make sure to watch that. Yes. 9 a.m. Eastern time mm -hmm. on June 15th, Thursday morning. Yeah, June 15th, guys. So if you're watching this video in a week, we're not gonna be there. No. June 15th. Yes. Okay, tomorrow morning. Yes. 9 a.m. We're gonna talk a little bit more about culture shock there, but first let's talk a little bit more about our first impressions. I'm just gonna add a few things here. When I came to China the first time, I was with an agency, so they picked me up in the airport. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God, everything's huge here. And I got my money out of the ATM and I was surprised how many people were standing in the shop when I bought a book. Then there would be a person who took my book, one put it in the bag and one received my money mm. and one gave, one gave me the receipt and I was like whoa why are there so many people working in here <laughs> then afterwards long time later I realized oh, okay Chinese they need jobs and uh, it's a good way to employ a lot of people yeah so that was one of my first impressions another one was I don't know how to use chopsticks and I'm freaking <laughs> hungry and the Chinese food is is scary so that was uh, one of my other very big impressions, I guess, the, the first few days I was in China the first time. <laughs> so I knew how to not make a complete fool on myself with chopsticks, but my first meal in China was very interesting, <laughs> Ling Ling. <laughs> Let me know. I, I heard a little bit about this one. I feel like I want to know more. <laughs> well, my friend, my Chinese friend, took me to a place for a traditional Chinese breakfast. So right. I got okay. the ba baozi. Baozi, yeah. yeah, baozi, that's mm, fine. That was, that was, that was that's, totally fine. That's nice, eatable, yeah. And then he asked me if I like liver. I'm like, well, in small quantities. And yeah. he says, oh, like fried pork liver. I'm like, yeah, let's try it. Uh. It's like this brown goop with oh. small pieces of fried liver. I had two yeah. or three bites and I'm like, thank you very much. Yeah. And he ordered the um, <laughs> traditional, absolute traditional Chinese uh, breakfast dish, which he insisted I try and that is an organ soup. I've never heard about yeah, that. Yeah, so it's a soup base, and in this one in particular, there was uh, some tofu cake, some garlic, mm. some lung, and some mm. intestines. God. So Maybe I got to try things. intestines on my very first meal. Uh, yeah, mm. I didn't. I, I still haven't gotten there. So It yeah. wasn't good. <laughs> That's another impression. When you're going to China, get ready for the food. It's not as crazy as you think. It's not like Chinese people that eat intestines all the time. No. But it is a thing and you can find it. But you can also eat normal chicken oh, and yeah. pork for all of your meals with egg and rice. So don't worry about it. If that's what you want. So yeah. we will continue this discussion this talk about first impressions and culture shock yes. on the live streaming because we are a fan of live streaming we right? are experts now it's going to be our <laughs> second time you don't want to watch the first 13 minutes of the first yeah, live stream if you do just it's skip to 13 just skip to 13 and go from there because yes. it's awkward <laughs> it's just us, us not being IT engineers at all and yeah. not knowing thinking we were live and yeah. <laughs> realizing we weren't live uh, and <laughs> really awkward. But we will see you on YouTube live stream 9 a.m. Eastern time? Yes, Eastern time. On June 15. Yeah. Be there, guys. 9 a.m. Eastern yes. time. Yes, and ask some cool questions and we will try as good as we can to answer them for yes. you. And, and yeah. If you're in North America, I know it's early, but in China, mm -hmm. it's perfect timing for you. It's in yes. the evening. It's 9 p.m. It's for you guys in China. Yes. <laughs> so get on to that VPN and uh, come and join us. Come and join us. For you can chat people. and ask us questions. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching this little video and please share in the comments below about your first impressions about China. It could be really fun to hear how other people yes, they saw absolutely. China the first time. Because I feel like everyone has their own opinion and own experience. So that could be awesome. Let's 
keep chatting also on social media check us check me out lena around and check her out culture eats yeah 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 okay thank you very much we're gonna move on and have some lunch I yes think. food yeah food yes. or horses i think we might see the horses first. oh yeah yeah ling ling loves horses so we're gonna go and, and watch some horses as well anyways thanks for watching this video hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you again very very soon ling ling and evelyn is out see ya and say john I'm not sure we're going to survive this. <laughs> <laughs>